everybody. Hi, it's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. I've got kind of a smorgasbord of things I want to talk to you about today. Yesterday, I was able to go to a new sewing store that they have in Universal City, Texas, which is just right outside of San Antonio. It's on the northeast side. And for you locals, it's right behind the CVS on Universal City Boulevard. It's called Grom's, and Grom's has been a sewing store in San Antonio forever, since like the 1950s, and they're family owned as well. It was my second trip in the store. I popped in there a couple of weeks ago just to kind of take a look at the place, and yesterday when I went, I took my camera with me. Today, Friday the 30th, and tomorrow, Saturday, October 31st, they're having a little quilt show in there since you can't go to Houston this year because of COVID and all the restrictions and all that. They're doing a little local show in there and you can vote for the quilt that you like the best and that kind of thing. So that's really nice. I'm going to show that video here at the end and then uh, you can, you know, if you're in the area and you're, you, you know, you, you need a new sewing spot to go take a look at. Uh, pop into Grom's and take a look at their store. It's nice and big and bright and it's pretty cool. And they're getting in new stuff all the time. While I was there, I picked up this jelly roll. I They had them on sale. They, they're having sales all through the week. But this is a really, really pretty one. This is a Brenda Riddle Designs and it's called Dover. Very pretty. It's real soft, kind of springy. I really like it. I love the gray and the greens. That's real nice. No clue what I'm going to do with it. And as I always say, I need another jelly roll, like a hole in the head. But I love making quilts with these. So I went ahead and got that. And I picked up two uh, spools of, this is Dimes Exquisite 100% Polyester. I got a spool of white and a spool of black because we're embroidering like crazy now on Spanky back here. That's my new brother PR 1055 10 needle, the Entrepreneur Pro. And I just love this thing. I'm having so much fun with it. And uh, I'll be making projects with it too. I, I want to continue to make projects with my single needle. Of course, I have the, the Brother Luminaire. And I love to make projects with that too. So in the hoop for that one and straight embroidery on this one. So we'll see how it goes. I'm having a good time with it. I also picked up, it's a Hoffman kit. It's called Prickly Pots by McKenna Ryan. This is such a cute little wall hanging. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Look at those little cactus. And it is full of uh, batik fabrics. Very cute. Probably not going to get to this this year. I don't know. Now that the new block of the month is in from Sew by Row that I got the Lori Holt quilt. That's going to keep me busy too. My light's on over my iron there over by my cow. Oreo, that's the name of my cow. And the lights on with the iron, that's uh, because I've got to get my fabrics pressed. I still need to get that done. I had mentioned in my last video that Pat Sloan kind of put a personal challenge to herself to get all of her tops taken care of. And I had talked about that, that I have a quilt rack that is just loaded down with wall hangings and table runners and quilt tops and things that need to get done. I've got quilts that need bindings. And so she had challenged herself to get those things done prior to the end of the year. And I'm doing the same thing. So yesterday I got this little table runner that I have had made up. It was already made up, it was just hanging there. And I've got one of those uh, swirl backs this was a 108. I bought a whole bunch of them earlier this year from Connecting Threads. I went ahead and put it on the long arm. I don't know if you can see the quilting in it. I put it on the long arm, got it all quilted, and then I bound it with the scrap out of my stash. So, one down, about 15 to go. <laughs> this has been hanging around for years, you guys. You know, I, I, I did it. I think I... I think this was a mini charm pack that I had because, you know, it's all two and a half inch squares. And if you guys have mini charm packs, maybe you got one as a freebie somewhere or you had a moment of, um, you know, you don't know what you were thinking and you actually paid for one. 
Don't get me wrong, I like them. I think they're super cute, but <laughs> there's not a lot you can do with them, you know. But this made an adorable table runner. So there is a charm pack. But it's a great idea to do that. You can just make a little, you know, table runner. Not really a runner, kind of a table, I don't know. What do you call those things? You just throw them on the table and put a basket on it. It's not really a tablecloth. What is that called? I have no clue. Also in this video, I'm going to introduce you to Jason. Jason is my on-site repairman. I will link to his Facebook page below. He is wonderful and he will come to your house. Uh, he does all of the service for Sewing Machines Plus for Texas. So he's not just limited to my local area. If you guys need service, you need somebody to come to your house, I'm going to put his Facebook page information below. It's got his phone number and everything like that. Text him. Let him know you heard about him from me. Uh, he will travel. Matter of fact, Joy wants to get one of these 10 needles. And she said, oh, I, you know, how will I get a repairman to come up if I need service on this thing? What can I do? And I was telling Jason about that. And he said, oh, my mom lives in Joplin, Missouri, and I go up there twice a year. So I go right past Kingston. I'll be happy to stop in. So I got Joy on the phone and they talked. And I have provided Joy with Jason's information. And um, yeah, I mean, that's just wonderful. That's just like the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> it's fabulous. Such a weight off your mind when you have these machines. And what if something goes wrong with them? What are you going to do? You know, and to find a great repairman who um, explains to you why something went wrong or maybe gives you pointers on what you could have done differently to prevent it from going wonky in the first place. Just invaluable, absolutely invaluable. So I'm gonna introduce Jason to you guys. You can see him at work working on my Quattro. And then I'm going to put in the clip of the Creative Notions bag reveal for October. And then I'm going to do the video of the new Gromes Sewing Center in Universal City. Okay, so I'll be back here in a little bit. This is Jason. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> He's in here fixing my quattro. And uh, the very first thing that he did was he took apart the embroidery arm unit and um, found that it needed serious oiling and greasing. So he did that. Don't forget about your bug. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I know you didn't want to talk about that. <laughs> There was a bug in there too. There was a big bug in there. It was like an old June bug that had been there forever. One mine, I probably bought it with it in there. Probably. Probably. We'll go with that. Okay. <laughs> I don't have bugs in my house. It makes me crazy. So, Jason, you you live in a little town outside of San Antonio called Shirts, right? Yeah. Out by Shirts. And it's and how long have you been how long have you been doing Machine repair? Since 1995. That's a long time. So, yeah. I haven't done it full time the entire time, but I've been doing it full time out of San Antonio since uh, 2011, 2012, somewhere in there. 10, 11 years, long time. Yeah. Yeah? 12 years? For, years. I did it for all brands for four, and then now I do on site work. Which is awesome. Awesome. And you like on-site work because you can have people show you what they were doing. Like, like I was telling you guys. That was exactly guys. what we did here. Yeah. yeah. You show me what you're having trouble with. And uh, <laughs> then we can do some deductive reasoning and figure out what's really happening. Yeah. Instead of just guessing inside a shop, which is almost impossible. A lot of times, yeah. yeah. It's very difficult to do it where you don't see the consumer's use. So he's got that all opened up right there. That's all I've got of Jason. He was a little camera shy and he was busy. Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, the Creative Notions bag came in and this is for October. I love this. I like all of these things, you guys. You know, there's a lot of subscriptions out there that you can get. I really think you get your money's worth with Creative Notions. And 
I know they recently went up on their price because you guys, shipping is just outrageous. It's outrageous. The U.S. Postal Service raised their rates from October to January because of the holiday season. Now, why would they do that? Anyway, so this month, this is all about stuff to make for your kitchen. And it is so cool. It comes with, let's see, October subscription. Let's see, has patterns on very heavy duty paper. You get to make an apron, oven mitts, and pot holders. This is uh, quilt as you go. And it comes with a full set of, uh, listen to how heavy this cardstock is, Co full color instructions on how to make everything. It has facings to run the tie through. And she tells you all how to make this. And then it comes with patterns. There's your oven mitt right there. Very cool. Very nice. So it comes with that. It comes with eight fat quarters. These are so cute. Oh, very nice. You know, I have a hard time using up pretty fat quarters for what make an oven mitt, but I should, right? I should. So here's the uh, background fabric. Old fashioned stoves. Look at those. Talk about retro stoves. Okay. Here's the fat quarters. There's a floral, a blue floral. Here is words tossed. Here's a cute paisley. Reminds me of bandanas. Here's kitchen utensils tossed. Here's a gray dot. Pretty stripe with a green. More ovens, stoves, tossed. Let me turn them right side up, right? And words and baking utensils. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. It also comes with half a yard of Insulbrite so that you can make your pot holders so they've got the right stuff inside so you don't burn your hands. I made pot holders without using this. That's a mistake. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. It also comes with six yards of the one inch twill tape to be able to make your tie. So it's nice and soft. It's a nice cotton, very soft to go around the neck and tie. And it has a double fold binding tool. Yo, I've never seen one of these. Uh, you use two inch strips and it's just like the bias tape maker and you run it through here but what you can do is put it on your machine and now you're going to run a binding all around your pot holder so october of 2020 i'm not done october 2020 you got eight fat quarters that was 24 dollars two inch bias tape maker that's eight dollars half a yard of insole bright 450 a recipe set now be, you know, it's a kitchen thing, so they're doing recipes. Oh, and I wanted to congratulate Angela Stoutinger. Is that how you say your name? You won the, uh, you're one of my subscribers, and I, I think you're on our Facebook. You won the recipe uh, contest for this month, so congratulations. That's awesome. Submitted by Angela Stoutinger. She did a cinnamon cake. Yummy, yummy. And we know this is not about cooking and baking. It's about sewing, but... It also came with a box. This is a, this is a foldable recipe box. It says recipes on it. And it's from Creative Notions and you, it'll pop out and make a little box, right? Cardboard. And then it comes with a bunch of recipe cards too. It gives you the directions on how to fold the box and put it together. And then it comes with a bunch of recipe cards and dividers. You know what else is four by six just like this? Villa Rosa Designs Patterns, hmm? I could see me you know, I've got the the photo albums that have the, the clear picture dividers in them. But if you don't want to do that or don't have the space for it or don't have them, I would put tabs for two and a half inch strips, charm packs, layer cakes, and yardage and fat quarters. And then put those cards in there so when you are looking for a pattern to make something with two and a half inch strips, you just go to that tab and pull them out doesn't have to be about baking. 
but you got a box and recipe cards. Very, very cool. And it came with, of course, little sweets. And then you get the Dottie Sampler Star pattern. This is their monthly quilt along that they're doing. And there's also one in here for the uh, log cabin block of the month. And mine's coming up. Mine's in December. I'm making the Christmas tree. Next month, I am going to be making the center block for the backing for that quilt. And it's going to list, I'm going to do it in embroidery, and it's going to list all of the bloggers and vloggers who made the blocks that are going into the Dottie Sampler quilt and their blog or their YouTube channel name. So I got to get that done. And I'm, I've been waiting for November because, you know, sometimes things change. So I just want to make sure we get it all done. Creative Notions has a YouTube channel. Creative Notions Quilt Shop has a YouTube channel. Every week in November, they're going to be making videos on how to stash bust for quick and easy Christmas gifts. So even if you're not a subscriber to Creative Notions, which I recommend you do, because now you don't have to go out into the COVID world. You can just let all of your cool stuff come to you. And that's priceless to keep your health intact. You can go out onto their YouTube channel and take a look at what they're doing and then go into your stash and make things too. So that's kind of cool, you know. Okay, we are at Grome's Sewing Center in Universal City. They're at 2040 Universal City Boulevard. Universal City is just northeast of San Antonio. I'm gonna go in here. Hi! <laughs> yeah, wear a mask. We have social distance. This is a great little store, you guys. <laughs> Waiting for a wife at Grubs. <laughs> So you have to wear a mask, you have to hand sanitize before you go in, so let's do that. Oh, what a cute little panel quilt. That looks great. We are having a backdoor quilt festival, and the show is on Friday and Saturday. Let's go in. It's, they have their own stabilizers. When you come in, look somewhere. It's a nice big store. It's well lit. Very, very nice. They sell Husqvarna's, Fops, Eversones, and Jiggy. This part right here is probably the best. Tajima. Right to thread it. All I do is do this. They carry dime exquisite and threads. An Anton Robinson Robeson Anton rail. So that's they have all kinds of notions thread. along the walls. They've got long arms. Look at this. If you don't have a lot of space, they carry the Q zone from Grace. They're carrying Grace frames. So all your utility stitches are in here. So when I go in, there's Lisa getting fabric. <laughs> there's my overcast. And I don't know if you ever have need for that, but it's got a very good 
Yeah. There's Cindy. Yeah. Cindy's the owner. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. Thank you. It's good to see you too. So tell me about your uh, your quilt show you're having. So we're really excited because of course we couldn't go to Houston this year and people were missing it. So we asked our customers to submit quilts. And so we've got about 15 to 20 quilts and then some sew and tells. And uh, the back room in here is closed off, but we'll have them on display and then the consumer can vote as to which is the best of show, uh, which is the fun, the funnest one to look at, that kind How of thing. Nice. So we're excited. That's yeah. going to be Friday and Saturday. Okay, so um, that is the 30th and the 31st yes. of October of this year. Yes. Great. Yes. Well, I'm going to keep looking around, okay? okay? Very Thanks. good. My computer just glitched on me, I know of course. Pardon me. <laughs> they have a great big classroom here, and I will put pictures of it so that you guys can see it. <laughs> Isn't that precious? Look at that quilt. That is adorable. Look, it says first quilt. How cute is that? <laughs> How cute is that? Baby's first quilt. So, so cute. They've got lots of patterns. And they carry Kai scissors and gingers. They have lots of notions. Creative grids, rulers, lots of threads, glide for you long armors. The needle wall, lots of bobbins, everything you need for long arming and quilting. And they sell a ton of machines. You guys, here's some of those big mats. I have a lot of you ask me about the mat. Here's one. This is a nice big mat, so they can get this for you too. And sergers. Lots of stuff. This is a great sewing store, y'all. So when you get a chance, come in and take a look. All right, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. I had so much to talk to you about. And, uh, I, you know, I've been making these video clips and I need to get them all together. So I apologize for being all over the map on this one today. But I want to get these taken care of and share those things with you. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. That way we can visit more often. And please give the video a thumbs up. That helps my channel a whole lot. Thank you everyone for supporting my channel. Thank you for supporting Power Tools with Threadstore.com. And we will talk to you soon. Go sew something. Bye.